Michelle, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing some tips on how to have a positive and relaxing day in isolation. I know some days we wake up feeling a little bit sluggish and off and all we want to do is lay in bed all day and scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, but sometimes that makes you feel a little bit worse. So here are some ideas on how to turn your day around and hopefully you enjoy them. Before we get started, please click that like and subscribe button. And if you have any ideas on what I should film next, please feel free to comment them down below. I would love to hear from you. And um, I guess let's get started. The first tip is to wake up to natural sunlight. And when you do wake up, try not to grab your phone straight away, even though I know it's very tempting. But as we all know, when we scroll through social media, we do tend to lose a track of time. So then we're more likely to stay in bed. So instead, maybe just give your body a big stretch, get out of bed, open up the doors and windows for some fresh air and make your bed straight away. That way you're less likely to get back into bed and um, then we can move on with the rest of the day. Number two is to light a candle. Anyone who knows me knows that I love candles and I love anything that smells good. Um, however, I have been loving these incense sticks from Satya. My favorite smells at the moment are sandalwood and positive vibes. So just these ones here and I just find that when you start your day off with nice smelling stuff and just calming scents it does put you in a nice relaxed mood and that way you can just start your day on a good note. Tip number three is to plan your day. So just sit down and write down a few things that you'd like to get done today. Even if they're small as having a shower or making a smoothie or calling someone, I think that when you write it down, it gives you a sense of accomplishment. So I know myself the night before, I like to actually just make a list of even the first thing being wake up. And then I can tick that off and be like, okay, I'm off, I'm off to a good start now. So I can continue on with the rest of my day on a good roll. Um, but yes, I, I love planning the day ahead and being able to tick it off. You just feel so productive at the end of the day and you feel like you've just had a really good day. <laughs> Tip number four is to nourish your body. I love starting my day off with a juice or a smoothie as the first thing you put inside your body after you've woken up is actually the fastest thing your body absorbs. So I think it's very important to give your body healthy and really good foods, nutrient dense foods, um, first thing when you wake up, I've been loving this green juice right here. Um, it does have banana, spinach, um, sp banana, spinach, apple, ginger, and lemon. And this recipe is so delicious. And then it's also so good for your skin. And also on top of that, make sure you remember to drink water. So I'll show you my big bottle here. It's actually a 2.2 litre bottle here and I do fill it up every single morning and I keep it with me at all times just to remind myself to drink it. Otherwise, I am the worst at drinking. I used to never drink water. I used to hate it. I used to drink maybe like one cup a day and think that was okay. So now I do try to finish uh, most of it or all of it in one day and um, there's so many benefits to drinking water, so just remember to do that. Tip number five is to do some sort of exercise to get your body moving and your blood flowing. Um, so if you can in your area, maybe go for a 20 to 30 minute walk. I love being able to get some fresh air and some vitamin D. It makes me feel so good. Um, where I'm living right now, I'm really blessed to be living by the ocean. So I've been really, really loving just walking by the water. It's so calming, breathing in the fresh ocean air. And um, I think that's just really important for your mind and then also your body, of course. Another option would be to do some home workouts. So if you can um, just find something that you really enjoy, what, if it's yoga or Pilates or like a HIIT workout, there's so many that you can find online these days. Um, my favorites at the moment are probably Blogilates, um, Lily Sabri, Chloe Ting. And um, I've actually been doing Chloe Ting's two week ab workout challenge at the moment and it's been really great. I find that after I do it, I feel so accomplished and it boosts my mood. And then sometimes after doing that one workout, it actually makes me want to do more, which is of course beneficial for your body and mind. 
Tip number six is to call your friends and family. I'm sure they would really appreciate your call and also um, just knowing that you're thinking about them during these hard times would mean a lot to them. I think that just speaking to your friends and family is always a good time. Um, maybe it's something that you want to get off your chest or something that you want to talk about that you've been feeling a bit down or even just having a fun conversation. I always have so many laughs with my friends and after I get off the phone to them, I feel um, so much better. I'm in a great mood. I want to kind of get on to the next task and I just love it. So I would definitely recommend giving your friends and family a call and um, just also letting them know that you do love them and care about them and are thinking of them during these times. Number seven is to have some off-screen time. So switch off the TV, put your phone down, maybe just play some relaxing music and make yourself a nice cup of tea and um, maybe read a book, do some drawing, try out some journaling. I know I love um, reading books. My favourite author at the moment or um, of all time would be Cecilia O'Hearn. So if you have any books that you recommend, feel free to let me know down below. And also I've recently started drawing, which I didn't actually pick up um, until as an adult because I didn't think I was good at it, but I do find it really therapeutic and it's really relaxing. And also um, if you do try out journaling, that can be really good for your soul as well. I know when I did journaling, I did um, discover that you just understand your feelings a bit better especially during these times if you are feeling a bit stagnant and down um, it just gives you a better sense of how you're feeling tip number eight is to try a new recipe has there been something that you've been wanting to make for quite a while now but just never had the chance to or never had the time because of work or another priority um, i know i've been there so recently i've been actually baking and cooking a lot with my partner with which has been so much fun we just play some nice music and we kind of each do a little part of the recipe and um, it always turns out really nice because we do put a lot of love into it and also if you do even just wanting to do a banana bread or some cupcakes would be amazing because um, one they taste really good and then two your house would smell amazing afterwards so it's kind of like win-win <laughs> Number nine is skincare. Treat yourself to a face mask or a facial massage. There's so many benefits of facial massaging. There is a really good IGTV from Dr. Mona Vand, which I can link for you guys down below. Um, there's so many benefits, but just to name a few, it does boost your circulation, it releases tension, it encourages collagen development and it tones your facial muscles and um, also if you do have maybe the gua sha or maybe a jade roller they're really nice as well just to depuff your face and it's kind of like a little spa day for yourself and the last tip is to practice gratitude. I truly believe that gratitude is the key to happiness. I not only do this at the end of the day, but even throughout the day, I do find myself just being thankful for the small things. Even um, if it's just the clean water or clean food, I do appreciate that a lot. Um, I do have this diary here from my friend. She got this for me for Christmas last year, and it's honestly my favorite thing at the moment to do um, before I go to bed. So it's just got little sections here where you can write what made me happy, what I learned and what I'm grateful for and what I'll be doing tomorrow. So I find that um, this just really helps me stay grounded and also makes me look forward to the day tomorrow. Um, you don't have to write it down, you can also just list them in your head. So maybe um, at the end of the day when you're lying in bed, just list five things that you're grateful for, um, whether it be your friends or your family or you know your pet. Um, just list five things in your head that you're grateful for and doing this end of day on a really positive note and then also what you appreciate appreciates. Meaning the more you are thankful for, the more the universe gives you to be thankful for. So for example, if you are um, grateful for happiness or abundance, you are going to attract more of that into your life. So definitely keep that in mind. You want to um, just be grateful constantly and even just for the little things, um, thank
thank you for this roof over my head. Thank you that we've got the internet so I can um, talk to you right now. And I guess thank you for this bed that I'm sitting on. <laughs> So those are my 10 tips on how to have a positive and relaxing day in isolation. I really do hope you enjoy them and try them out. Please click that like button if you did like this video so I know to make more of them. And um, I do hope you're all staying safe and healthy during these times. I'm sending you all lots of love and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!